Hey guys, the Tell Taco here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be take a look at Windows 10 build 15014 which includes couple of changes over previous build which was build 15007. I haven't done Windows 10 inside a build video before on this channel but this is going to be first. First change you'll see on this build is Windows Store. Starting on Windows 10 previous update, where is it? There is. Windows Insiders is from United States can buy ebooks from Windows Store and you can simply read it in Microsoft Edge. How cool is that? But I can't get one because I'm Malaysian. Oh wait, $10 for a book? Huh, that's not fair. Hmm. Let's open up Edge to see if she has changed over that. After you purchase ebooks, you can find those books in your books library, which is a new hub entry in Microsoft Edge. You can find your books library here, right next to your favorites, history, downloads, and reading lists. Sort of. That's fairly good. I don't know if readers can enjoy, but I guess so. Alright, moving on. Next change that you see here is the battery flyout. Here is a new slider to change the power mode either the best battery life balance or best performance. But it's not showing up for me since I have no battery on my ASUS A43 SD laptop. Sad days with the toasted battery. Microsoft said that the slider is just the UI at this moment so they will make it working on future inside builds. Next change that you see here is the settings app. That is storage settings. If you go on the settings, then go on to system and click on storage, you'll see that you have storage sense. You can enable it if you want to free up some good amount of space including your cringe pictures. Your noble pics. Oh god no. If you enable storage sense, it will automatically delete unnecessary temporary files and stuff that was in recycle bin for 30 days. That's a good thing if you're sort of a storage whore or want to free up some space. That's a cool feature. I'm super sorry about that. <laughs> Seems like something's not working right on this build of Windows 10 on my laptop. Like, really? Anyway, moving on. If you go on the settings, go on to network and internet, Wi-Fi, there is a Wi-Fi services switch. Which is... Right there. Wi-Fi services. So, what basically is... It's basically a mix between Wi-Fi Sense and pay Wi-Fi services. Pretty neat feature, but I'm not turning this on right now. I think it shows the Wi-Fi name on the screen here. I'm pretty sure about that, so I'm blurring that out. Next change that I mostly wish for it is the custom color accent. You can change the color to whatever you like. Which is very interesting. I'm gonna uncheck that. Add the custom color. For example, I wanna change the color to um, something fairly beautiful or some kind. And yeah, there we go. You get a custom color accent. Not only that, but they also add the custom solid color accent on the background if you set the background fit to center or fit. Or changing the background to solid color. I wanna change that to light blue, for example. I'm gonna change that to white, you know. Oh, that's so blazing. And there you go. The watermark font is now black due to light colors. So yeah, I guess I just revert the background color to black for now. Oh yeah. Custom color, baby. I want the... Frickin' turquoise. Ooh. Oh. Wee. One notable change you might see is the taskbar. You can see that the mail app was pinned to taskbar by default, starting with Windows 10 Creators Update. If you don't use mail app, just unpin it. Because you gotta unpin that. Nano desu. <laughs> Another change you might see on the taskbar is the white Cortana search box. Yep, that one. It's just there. I don't know. You can change the... I don't know. 
it's just there. I don't know if you can change it back to gray. Well, just curious. On my tutorial video on how to make Cortana search box white, I showed you guys the registry hack on how to do that. On this build, it's there. So yeah, that's gonna be about it. I hope you guys give me your feedback of this video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And peace out. The Tail Taku signing out.